Hi, it's Newson from New Horizons, and today we're going to look at something which is often overlooked in Office 2010, and actually permeates the whole of Office 2010. It's this little thing up here. It's this boxes here, and these are called. This is called the Quick Access Toolbar. And if I click on this arrow here, you'll see this little arrow here. It shows me different commands here, and it says Save is ticked. See that little Save button over there? See Undo is ticked down here, and Redo is ticked. But if I want to add that that new button uh, which would create a new workbook I just click there and it adds it to the quick access toolbar this little thing along here although my new is called the quick access toolbar and if I want to add open I'll just tick it so that's our first thing if I want to add email or to email the current workbook I'm in and create an outlook thing quick print print preview and print yeah so all those things that I check are now added. If I don't want them there from this list, obviously all I would do is uncheck. So if I didn't want preview, print preview and print there, I just click on that, uncheck it and it, it's moved. Now, what you can do with this quick access toolbar, the first trick you can do with it, you can show it below the ribbon. What does that mean? Well, it will remove it from the top here and it will move it below the ribbon. So it's kind of a little bit more accessible. So if I click on this button here, so what I do, I opened up here and I'm going to move down to show below the ribbon. So that's our first trick. And as you can see, the actual quick access toolbar is moved below the ribbon. Our next trick is, well, we're not limited to the commands listed here. We could add other commands to this um, quick access toolbar. And we can actually go ahead and add stuff from our ribbon. So if I went to the home ribbon and I said, you know what? I actually want the find one of the find and select buttons. I actually want to do I actually want either go to go to special or maybe I want find. What I can do if I right click on find, right I've hovered over find here, gone to the end of it, and if I right click on it and go to add to quick access toolbar, it's added the find to quick access toolbar and I click on it and it'll bring up the find and replace box. So that's pretty neat. If I don't want the find there, I can right click on it and remove it from the quick access toolbar. So let's do that again. What did I do? I didn't click the whole button find and select. I clicked on the arrow below to open up the ribbon, the actual selection, and I actually just selected find and I right clicked on it. And I said add the quick access toolbar. I could do the same with replace or even go to. So if I right click on replace, right click on it, add the quick access toolbar, I get the replace button as well, even though they're kind of like two peas in the same pod really. So that's the second thing I could do with quick access toolbar. If I want to remove that like I said I hover over it, right click on it and remove from quick access toolbar. So that's that's the second place so I can add any ribbon item that I want to the quick access toolbar. So I could add cell styles if I wanted a particular cell style I could just say that bad one, right click on it, um, add gallery to quick access toolbar. It doesn't add that particular style adds a whole gallery to the quick access toolbar so you need to be careful sometimes with it. If I don't want that there I can right click and remove it. Now the last thing we can do with a quick access toolbar is we can go down here and select. I'm just going to scroll down and go to more commands. Now where is that going to take me to? If I click on more commands that's going to open up Excel options and Excel options here it shows me quick access toolbar. Now I have the ability to select any command from the ribbon file home but it's showing me here popular commands so how do I get to file this is popular commands and these are the popular commands that I could add but what I can do is if I click on this arrow here I could go to commands in the file tab so if I want something from the file tab now the thing to remember is the file tab is currently selected if I want something from it I've got to click down here and what I might want is email as XPF mm, that might be useful email as PDF might be useful. So I might add that if I scroll down further I think there's actually if I if I want a particular command I know the first letter from there is a save if I click on save and S uh, I've pressed S and it shows me I can say save as other formats is there a publish actually it was wrong publish as PDF and XPF so that's what I want to do I want to add that to my quick access toolbar and what I can do suppose I don't really want these commands at the end I can move them up and resize them okay yeah that's the first thing and I can say you know what move that up as well the next thing I can do here is if I get my quick access toolbar messed up completely I can reset I can say reset all customizations or reset only quick access toolbar right the other thing I could do as well is I can export 
all customizations made to my quick access toolbar I can export it to a file save that file down if I save I'm not going to save it out but click on save and then on another computer I can import that customization file and it saves me having to actually I can import that same file that I saved and it saves me having to do my quick access toolbar all over again so I could do this for a, a work PC and a home PC if I wanted to now hope that helps and thanks for watching bye for now